Hello everyone, it is again the 2nd of November, November 2, 2020, and uh, the weather is looking pretty good. The wind's picked up a little bit. Let's see what the temperature is. It is 41 degrees. That's perfect weather to work outside. I don't need a sweater underneath this windbreaker. Feels good. It feels good. It feels good. So, a little while ago, I made a quick purchase of uh, fresh wild ocean perch. Now, I've never purchased this stuff before, and uh, my plan is to deep fry the whole thing. I think it's like two pounds, and it's only um, like five dollars and fifty cents a pound, which is extremely cheap. Now, ocean perch is not lake perch. Lake perch is good. Um, do I like lake perch? Perch. If somebody gave me a, a bucket of lake perch, I'd take it and eat it and be happy. But it's nothing compared to walleye or bluegill. Bluegill is number one, walleye number two. Um, I did eat something the other day, I forget what it was. Trout, brook trout. So I would rate it from what I cooked so far. Bluegill is number one, walleye number two, a real close, you know, second. Um, and then the last one I took was, did was, uh, uh, trout, brook trout, that is number three. So we're going to see where um, where uh, ocean perch sits in this. So let's get this stuff ready. Now what I did was I took flour and I mixed um, a little bit of garlic powder. You can see me. I mixed garlic powder with it, salt and pepper. Not a lot of salt, not a lot of pepper. Because you can always add that stuff later, right? And I hate to do I, 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 Too many times I've uh, added too much salt, too much pepper. Let me turn this down a little bit. There. So, so what I do is I got this bread bag. I fill it up with air. I take the raw meat, stick it in the bag. I like to clean my fingers because it smells. Now, Florida. Then you shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. You guys getting this? Like I said, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a little, a little dinky bit of garlic powder. It was garlic powder was what was left out of a, a jar. So the, the fish is the fish are a little bit sticky. This has got the oil on there. And that's what keeps the. Uh, Ooh, I almost threw away a fill So I'm just going to toss this in the garbage. Now I do have the fryer heated up to uh, three, 375? 375, which is the highest this fryer will go. Come on up closer. Is that good, guys? You going to be able to see this? So what I'm going to do... I got some weight on here. I'm going to put a bottle of water on it too so it doesn't blow away. Kirtland is my favorite. If you guys ever want to buy me some. Um, hey, look over this way. You want to be able to see me, right? Of course. Let's see what we got here. Okay, you're going to be able to see me pretty good. So. Really curious how this is going to turn out, guys. I don't know. Again, ocean perch is not lake perch. I'm going to put five at a time. A 
I'll get the external crisped up a little bit so that it uh, keeps. Where's my? It'll keep the uh, the crust will keep the moisture inside this fish. No, I'm not a professional cook. <laughs> I like uh, I like fish. I like that kids with I like turtles. I believe that people going down Ivan Rest that way they think I'm nuts and they don't dare to stop by. It is a crazy guy living over there. Keeps a waving at people. So it's drying up. So I'm just gonna wait till they're golden brown. It's you know make sure they're busted loose. I don't want them sticking together. I don't know, I'm thinking it's gonna be really good. So any of you guys have ever, I know, I know, I know, Lake Trout is the best. Steve Bullhouse, how you doing, man? He's my fisherman buddy. Call him a buddy, but you know. He was a, he's, he's a tool maker at uh, Johnson Controls or Adiant, and uh, he talks like this. Hey, Derek, you want a piece of fish? I said, oh yeah, I want a piece of fish. Okay, I'll get you some walleye. Got me a whole bunch of walleye the other, um, uh, when I was working. It's almost two years on retirement now, guys. I've been retired for almost two years. Are you kidding me right now? Right now, are you kidding me? Um, surprisingly enough, this thing is still on the green. Whoops, sorry guys. Uh, surprisingly enough, this thing is still green. So in other words, it's, it's the temperature. Let me just wipe. Sorry. I don't know, I gotta get some uh, drier cloth. And so hang on tight guys, let me just wipe the screen. Close your eyes and open your mouth. Much better, much better. So, yeah, Steve Bullhouse, he's the, uh, Bullheis, he's the, uh, he is one of the many tool makers they have there at Adiant. And they're all very capable people. I like their work. Try to keep the uh, keep the steam away from the lens because it just messes up the lens and you can't see. So I got this pile here yet to go, and this pile here yet to go. Oh yeah. Make you one happy camper. Now, why you ask? Why do you have that the door is closed, Dirk? I don't know, nothing in particular. I just uh, had to have it out of the way for a while. Hmm. So tonight it's so it's it's the second it is the second of uh, November. And tonight I um me and Kathy bought some tickets to a uh, an event. And it's at the Gerald Ford Airport. I don't know why I said it in the other video. So uh, that's going to be interesting. We found out where we can park. There's a huge parking spot there. And right out of the car, we'll be able to walk to the place where, they, um, where the event will be happening. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I think this looks pretty good. Let me take it out. So I did five. Let's uh, put another five in. Unos, doses, treases, cuatro, cinco de mayo. Little um, Spanish lingo there. There, it finally cooled down, so it's below temp, which is okay. I'm going to give a few seconds for this to to rest in culinary art verbiage. It needs to rest. 
to rest my butt. I wonder what happened to my clean piece of uh, thing. All right. I thought I put it in my pocket, but I lost it. All right, guys. So let's do a taste test. Make sure you can see everything here. Uh, bring you down a little bit. Up a little bit. Maybe back you up so you make sure you get me in the picture for the taste test. It's very important to have me in the picture. All right, guys. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby. I'll get the big one. So I'll be able to know whether it stood in long enough. I got to shake it up so it doesn't stick together. Oh, man, my mouth is watering. First bite, not bad. Second bite was a thinner piece toward the belly. The third piece is going to be a nice flaky chunk of white meat. Come apart like this. Right here. Hi Asher, how are you? So let's try this piece. Oh. Hey Remy. So far not it's good. But would I say it's walleye or uh bluegill? No. I'm thinking the meat closer to the belly is probably better. Try the alley just pulled up. Not bad. Maybe she'll come down here grab some fish. Hey, Allie, bring some fish up, will you? Say hi to the camera. Hey, Asher. Asher, look at dude. Are you having fun? <laughs> so, so far guys, like I said, it comes apart really nicely. It tastes okay. Probably could have had a little bit more salt. But again, So some of these are going with Allie to uh, Mom, Gunga, Corey, and uh, some of the kids. But they are. So anyway guys, my uh, my conclusion to this fish is, um, I guess the question is, would I do it again? Well honestly, this is really cheap stuff, $5.50 not on sale at Costco. Um, I'm not complaining. <laughs> the price wise, it's ridiculous. You know, a little bit longer. I should have timed it because it looks about ready. And you don't want to overdo it, I guess, because the stuff that I, the ones that I just did, turned out really, really good. It was uh, tender yet. Although I do like crispy uh, fish, you know. Now, 
I'm doing six at a time. Or, or wait, was it six or five? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five at a time. Five. Here's another car making, oh, a big old Harley in the cemetery. So guys, that's the deal with the, uh, with, with the um, perch, ocean perch. I have no complaints. I would buy it again if a walleye was not available. But I do have some uh, bluegill still. I still have some bluegill in my freezer, so I'm pretty happy about that. So I'll be, pretty, I'll be doing that uh, later on this week, I'm thinking. But uh, this week, oh man, look at the day, it's gorgeous. The sun's shooting out big time. Let's see what the weather is. 45 degrees, oh my! <laughs> it's 45 degrees, Asher. Asher, you got that? <laughs> It's 45 degrees. You want to be able to reach this a little better, don't you? Oh, I can't. You got to step on the step on the thing on the clutch. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, it's a stick. I can't move it, which I kind of want because it's in gear, so it won't roll away. Yes, I need uh, new bumpers. I still haven't ordered them. I think it's like three hundred dollars for a set of bumpers, uh, which I should be able to get this this week. I'm thinking I'll order those. And I'll just put the butt end into the garage, barn, the shop, and then I can torch the bolts. Okay, guys, I'm gonna call it quits. Have a good day, rest of the day, and. Uh, Say bye bye. Say bye. Say bye. What a cutie. All right. See you guys. He's not waving bye. I know he will sometimes. So bye.